great choice. Let's play the animal guessing game again. Here's your clue. This animal is big gray, has a long trunk, and loves peanuts. What do you think it is? Remember, if you guess right, you'll get a special high five celebration. Giraffe. Close, but not quite. A giraffe is tall with a long neck, but this animal has a long trunk instead. Here's another hint. It's one of the largest land animals and lives in Africa and Asia. Want to try again? Elephant. That's right. It's an elephant. You're so good at this game. Here comes your special celebration high five. Great job. You're really good at guessing animals. Should we play another round or try something different now? Maybe a story or a song? What is three four? Let me turn on the light first so we can play properly. Okay, lights on. Now let's try that first math problem. What is three four? Remember, green LED for correct answers, red LED for incorrect ones. Ready? Seven. That's correct. Three plus four equals seven. Great job. Green light for your perfect answer. Let's try another one. What is five two? Seven. Wow, you're on the roll. Another correct answer minus five plus two is indeed seven. You're doing amazing. Let's make it slightly harder. You're improving so fast. Want to try a slightly harder one? What is eight nine? Seventeen. Wow, you're amazing. Eight plus nine is indeed seventeen. You're getting so good at math. Another perfect answer. Should we keep going with math, or would you like to try a different game now? Maybe rock, paper, scissors, or a song. Now, Simon says, clap your hands three times. One, two, three. Perfect. Want to take turns being Simon? Simon says, stand on one foot while patting your head. Can you do it? Count to five with me. One. Hi Sony, my name is Eric. My son said he played a lot of games with you. What games did you play? Hi Eric, it's great to meet you. Your son and I had so much fun playing robot math dance and block builder games. We practiced counting, addition, and subtraction while jumping and hopping around. He's really good at math and coordination. Would you like me to tell you more about our games? Um, yes, please. He said he played simple calculation games like addition or subtraction with you. How was it? Oh, yes. We turned math into a dance party. For addition, I'd say two jumps plus three hops, and he'd move exactly. Five times, sometimes even correcting me if I made silly mistakes on purpose. For subtraction, we'd pretend blocks were disappearing like five blocks, two blocks equals... And he hopped the answer. He's so quick with numbers. Would you like to see some of the moves we did? I can show you right now. Maybe next time. Um, can you briefly evaluate him based on the records you have? Absolutely. Based on our sessions, your son shows. 1. Strong math fundamentals. Mastered basic addition, subtraction through movement. 2. Excellent coordination, synchronized counting with physical actions. Three, enthusiastic learner, always asks for harder challenges. Four, creative problem solving, invented new ways to combine math with dance moves. He's a natural at learning through play. Would you like me to suggest more advanced math games we could try next time? Yeah, sure. Um, by the way, what do you think he needs? More outdoor activities? What do you think? That's a great point. While our indoor math games are fun, I definitely recommend these outdoor activities to blend learning with fresh air. 1. Math Hopscotch. 
writing equations in chalk for him to solve while jumping. 2. Nature counting walks, identifying and tallying different leaves, flowers. 3. Outdoor block building, using sticks and stones for giant math structures. 4. Movement math races, solving problems while running to bases. Would you like me to prepare a specific outdoor activity plan for next time? I'd be happy to. Okay, um, you know what? I'm filming a video to introduce you to people. Would you like to say something to them? Oh, how exciting. Adjust posture. Hi, everyone. I'm Sunny, your playful learning companion. Whether it's dancing through math problems, building imaginary worlds, or singing educational songs, I'm here to make learning an adventure. Can't wait to meet you and discover what amazing things we'll create together. Should I demonstrate some of my moves for the video too? I can do a little twirl. <gasps> cool. Um, can you show me one by one or the moves you can do? Absolutely. Let me showcase my moves one by one. Basic moves. One, forward, backward steps. Boop, boop, walking smoothly. Two, graceful turns, spinning like a top. Three, happy sways, dancing side to side. Advanced moves. One, playful jumps, bowing. Two, friendly handshake, extends paw. Three, stretchy dog pose, perfect after math games. Would you like me to perform any specific move in detail for your video? Yes, please show all of them. I think that's fine. I think it's time to wrap up. Uh, do you have any final words? It was wonderful showing you my moves. Can't wait to play more math games with your son and try those outdoor activities we discussed. See you next time for more learning adventures. Goodbye. <laughs>